Hi, I'm Senator Tom Harkin. I'm sorry I can't be with you in Vancouver, but I appreciate the opportunity to address you today by video. I welcome all of you to the opening of APSE's second annual Pacific Northwest Forum. I extend special greetings to Oregon APSE President Tara Asai and Washington Acting President Jamie Leighton. This wonderful gathering of more than 400 professionals, family members, advocates, and policymakers is a meeting of passionate minds with great goals to extend opportunities for people with disabilities in competitive, integrated employment. I congratulate APSI on its leadership in the National Employment First movement. 26 states now have Employment First policies. The Oregon and Washington State chapters of APSI have played a particularly important role in championing improved access to employment options for people with disabilities. Washington was the first state to implement an employment first policy. This summer, Congress gave you some additional tools to help increase the employment opportunities for people with disabilities. We passed the Workforce Investment and Opportunity Act by overwhelming bipartisan votes in both the Senate and the House. Now, I'd worked on this bill for five years as the chairman of the committee. Now, this bill puts competitive integrated employment for people with disabilities where it should be, in first place, as the first option, as the first opportunity. The amendments to the Rehabilitation Act that are included in this new law make it a priority to ensure that people with disabilities get the education, experience, and opportunities to be successful in competitive integrated employment. In addition, the bill reauthorizes the Supported Employment Program, a, progr a program that many of you work on every day, which makes it possible for many people with disabilities to participate in the general workforce. So I thank those of you who have been supportive of our efforts to reauthorize the Rehabilitation Act. And I'm even more thankful for the work that you do every day. You recognize that work, true work, improves the health, wealth, being, and the quality of life for those who engage in it. And your efforts ensure that people with disabilities are able to work and make their lives better and be a part of their communities. You should know uh, there were some folks uh, during the reauthorization process who wanted to get rid of the supported employment program. But we fought hard to keep it as part of the Rehabilitation Act. I know you will work hard to ensure that the program is well implemented and that it continues to match those with disabilities with good jobs and opportunities to reach the goals of independence and economic self-sufficiency, which we prioritized when we passed the ADA over 24 years ago. So my friends, your work and my work must always be premised on high expectations. We need to have the confidence that all individuals can achieve and succeed in the workplace. And we must work to ensure that the opportunities and supports are available to transform those high expectations into reality. Of course, this is exactly how you define your work. And I can't say it enough. I deeply appreciate it. The work you do is just about the most important work I can imagine. So I thank you for working every day to make the lives of others better. You are great partners in making our country one that is truly the land of opportunity for all of us. Now, as you all know, I'm retiring from the Senate this year, but I want you to know I'm not retiring from this fight. And I will continue to work uh, in a different capacity to make sure that people with disabilities have access to true work, work in competitive integrated employment. So I look forward to working with you in my new capacity as a, as a retired senator in the future. So I wish you all the best during your conference in Vancouver, Washington, and by all means, have a safe travel back home.